So this is a heavyweight contest between Moses Jolly in the solid white shorts and Ryan Laburn in the white shorts with the English flag and the black trim. The commentators myself, Kieran Gibbons, and a man with vested interest in this contest, Mr Dorian Darch. Let's have a look what Mr Jolly got then, is it Kieran? Good dancer. Not a bad job. First thing, striker of a Moses Jolly, very tall, very loose style. Much looser than me for the head suit. Oh, 
This is Rose's Jolly's sixth contest this evening here in Llanelli in South Wales, South West Wales. Switch it there as well, naturally moving from both stances. A bit of the alley shuffle. Ooh, the dart shuffle you want to see. <laughs> What's the dart shuffle look like then? Shuffle cards <laughs> normally. <laughs> Jolly dominating this opening round. Laverne can't really get over the size of Jolly. He's, he's not really launching any offence. Hasn't really thrown many shots, if any shots, this round. Survival mode, but Jolly's not doing nothing wrong. Constant pressure. Brilliant movement in all fairness for him. Moves very well for a heavyweight, Moses Jolly. I mean, let, let's not pretend the opposition is any you know, particularly good tonight. With all due respect to Laburn, I mean, you've got a record of nine defeats and the one draw, no victories. Bit of spite on our body shot, I'd like to see a bit more of that. I mean, it is very difficult to match heavyweights. Left hand from Jolly landed round the ear of LeBron. Levels, it's all about levels, isn't it? Jolly's levels above him. And, and a lot bigger. Oh, nice job. Good shot. Almost a bit of a screw shot from Moses Jolly there. Extremely loose, isn't he? I'm just wondering, I know that, like you said, his levels, but is he getting bad habits by fighting this way in these type of fights? No, he, he knows he'll step it up when he needs to, then he just he's going through the motions, as you can see. He can do what he wants in fights, I guess, probably. Dominant opening Dominant, round yeah. from Moses Jolly. I mean, what, uh, Dorian, what... I mean, is there anything more that Moses Jolly could be doing? Throw him more power shots, obviously. Cause lip and lip and oh, sorry, but Throw him more power shots, but he's probably just... taking the boy round, getting a few rounds out, as you do when you're a novice. But he's had a few fights now, so... But in front of his own crowd, he's just looking good. He hasn't done nothing wrong, in all fairness to him. I think Moses Jolly as well, he, he likes to entertain his fans. He knows he's got a big crowd here. Yeah, he, so... He probably don't want to blow a boy out in 30 seconds when he sold loads of tickets, so he's just taking the man round, in all fairness. And uh, possibly working on a few different things? Exactly, just working what he's done in the gym. It's like a paid sparring for him, isn't it? As we get, into, get ready to go to the second round of this six-rounder. Ryan Laverne slowly gets off his stool for the second round. Is this a four or a six rounder, Key? Uh, six rounder, six I think it was rounder. announced as uh, by our MC, Jonathan Millard. I know Moses Jolly's spoken in interviews in the past, he, his desire to fight for the Welsh title, so he needs to have contests over longer distances. To qualify for fighting for the Welsh Keys, eh? Yeah, that's it, yeah. yeah. So he's got to have these contests. Mm. And for those people who don't know, um, Dorian Darch, next to me here on the commentary, he's uh, got a desire to possibly face Moses down the line for the Welsh title. That's right, but got to go in front of the boxing board first, mind, next Thursday. They might put the clampers on that, but hopefully not. I haven't done nothing wrong. <laughs> in your opinion? In my opinion, yeah. <laughs> Training better than I ever have now, down with Gavin Rees. So, hopefully everything goes all right next Thursday. I could be like Ryan Leibon and running away in about uh, three and a half months. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that won't be the case. But, uh, <laughs> nice body shot from Moses. He, as you've already said, he switches really well yeah. between orthodox and south for stance. It'd be, it'd be nice to know what hand he is, left-handed or right-handed, naturally. I would say he's left-handed, would you, naturally? 
Um, it's difficult to tell, really. Mm. I mean, he does seem to switch Mo mostly in orthodox, isn't he? But we, I, I guess we won't really be able to see until he gets put under some pressure. Yeah, when then, he's on then the back foot, to, like he'll have to uh, stand in his preferred stance. Yeah, basically. Oh, I don't know, mind. I it's going to be critical of Moses Jolly. I'd, I'd like to see him perhaps stand taller with his jab and, and use the jab to his full extent. He's almost throwing the jab at mid-range. It's a nice left hook to the body. He's got a massive height and reach advantage in this contest. Sometimes it's harder, but now when you fight the opponent, there's a lot shorter. That's how I pulled my left bicep out, fighting the opponent the shorter. People in the crowd tried in, oh, sh throw a left hook to the body, throw a left hook to the body, throw a left hook to the body. If I can actually, you know, my bicep's up to my elbow. <laughs> <laughs> but in all fairness, he ain't putting a foot wrong yet. You haven't been, not that boy hasn't landed a shot on him in all fairness. One good thing uh, as well about Moses, he, he does try and target the body. Go for a tall guy. Ooh, that's oh, that's nice. Good shot. Left and right. right. Stamped a bit of authority on it then. Very slippery customer. Yeah. Ryan Laboon. Another drum on the ground. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't suppose there's much else you can do really with this type of guy. I mean, I, I suppose you no. could you could argue maybe you could. Um, Maybe is, is he bouncing around a bit too much? Should, should you, do you think he should uh, just get in the round? Down? He's just getting the rounds in, but then he is in all fairness to him. I know probably most of his fans will probably want the boy to be sparked out on the floor, but experience is what it's down to, isn't it? So it's not about pleasing the fans sometimes, but when he tries to sell tickets for his next show and he haven't sparked this boy out, people might struggle. He might struggle a bit to sell tickets, but he got loads of people here. So as long as the boys are true to him and everything, he'd be alright. Yeah, it's going to be interesting as the contest goes on whether Moses does try and uh, up the pace and sit, settle down on his shots a little bit more to try and force a stoppage. And it's worth remembering as well that Moses Jolly didn't have much amateur experience. So he's learning a lot about himself on the boxing in his which, which is pro why, career. Which is why he's using these rounds probably. Very fluid, all in all fairness to him. His footwork. He doesn't move like a, a traditional heavyweight, no. does he? he? Moves like a cruiserweight stroke, light heavyweight, doesn't he? How heavy did he weigh tonight, Key? I'm um, 16 He's still heavy, and it's deceiving, and he doesn't look that heavy, like. Oh, nice shots. Scoring referee for this contest, Reese Carter from Bridgend in South Wales. An A class referee, one of the best up and coming referees we've got in Wales. You want to give the decision to Healy against me? I'd like to bring up in conversation in Merthyr Tidville. <laughs> <laughs> Which was the end of my career. Thanks, Reese, for that. But yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll discuss that at another time. <laughs> Shot selection as well, very good from Jolly. I think he got every shot in the bag and these screw shots, jabs. He's just building the pressure nicely. Yeah. He hasn't took a backward fet step in all fairness. I don't think he's had one shot landed on him either. I would like to see him use the jab a little bit more right right to this time here now. Just just throw the jab straight down the middle. Measuring stick like and then the right hand behind it. Bit reckless and just diving in. And that's my concern when you fight these type of guys when yeah, you're like doing different style, things. Like you're fighting in a way that you wouldn't fight in a if it was matched against, against a boy, it was against opposition. It, yeah. So uh, you just gotta be careful you don't get learn bad habits or get into bad habits. I've heard he's sparring and likes it, the Bois and things also, he'd probably... Oh, lovely left oh. up to the body, wow! 
We can hear that shot landing right in front of us here in the company position. And that's it. Oh. Well done. Moses Jolly gets the stoppage. What's your assessment, though, in that? Good body shot. Boy couldn't get up. End the sports. <laughs> and uh, now, having watched Moses in the flesh, if you like, I mean, what's your thoughts about boxing him? It's going to be a very line? tricky fight for me, if I'm honest, because of his mobility. I'm not a very mobile person, as you know, and I got a very big Swede, so he will probably be <laughs> punching the fuck out of it. So I just hope he doesn't fucking punch very hard. <laughs> right? That's about the best fucking explanation I can give. Tonight's boxing, promoted by Shadow Box Promotions and Association in Bowtrier. <laughs> Bringing boxing back to Southwest Wales. And we can see how much our victory it means to Moses Jolly and his army of fans here. Goes by the nickname of the Native. And Moses reaches over your ringside to say hello to Dorian Darch and the promoter Kieran Gethin and myself. Certainly seems a fun character, Dorian. Yeah, it seems a nice bloke, but there'll be no bad blood in our build up to that fight if it does happen. If the board give me my license back, get a win, and then hopefully me and him can get it on. Thank you. 